Good morning and welcome to another macro video. I'm going to be looking here at how to remove spurious data by using a set of wildcards. I'm not aiming to teach you about the wildcarding but how to combine them together and uh, obviously for that we're going to be using Fredit. So the data I've got is from a friend and here's the spurious stuff, all sorts of codes with question marks and full stops and that wants to be removed so we want to be able to select uh, that and highlight it so I'm going to use a series of find and replaces so here's my first one I've seen that there's a sometimes a question mark sometimes a full stop in the middle of uh, words so we can use that so there's a here's one I can try some uh, characters and then a question mark or a full stop and then some more characters so uh, let's try running that so it's highlighted some of them I then say well okay we're going to need another one to pick up some more and highlight some more different patterns so I've got another one down here so I've got the two now and I've used a different color so I can see which bits are being highlighted by which of the wildcard find and replaces. So I've tried that one. Uh, now it, you notice there that it's, it's adding the highlighting so if I want to see what's really happening I need to remove the highlighting and then run the macro and then I can see what it's doing. So in order to avoid having to keep getting rid of the highlighting I've just knocked up a, a four line macro it's here it is down the bottom it's just four lines just to clear down the highlighting from the file um, so let's just move it out the way so I can develop the different find and replaces and then uh, see which they highlight so if I go straight now to the the list that I've actually created so first of all I've got the uh, the command, the do macro command, which looks like a find and replace, but it's just a way of running a macro. So it it runs the clear uh, highlight and color macro to clear down what's uh, existing in the way of highlighting. Then it runs each of these various find and replaces in all sorts of different colors. So, uh, and the point of it is that if one of them, for example, this one, or if I just put in a a rogue apostrophe there. So if I run it now and say well it's, it's, it's highlighted everything. Ah look it's highlighted this here which is not good. Uh, it's an apostrophe in the middle of some letters uh, but I know immediately that what's the problem is that it's in the grey find and replace. So I look at uh, the grey one here so I look at it and think mm, yes what's wrong? Ah yes now if I've put a I need I don't need that apostrophe there so I've just changed it slightly, try it again, yes that's okay. Now it doesn't matter if these some of these find and replaces actually highlight the same things, it doesn't matter if there's duplication, as long as you don't get the false positives. So by developing this set uh, using this technique you can work out how to get a, a number of different combinations. And once I've done the highlighting then all I do is add an underline to all of these so that not only does it highlight it also underlines and then I have a couple of lines here first one says if it's underlined change it to a funny code and then take the funny codes and delete them all so let's try that there we go so having having uh, highlighted them it then deletes them so that's it. Thanks for watching.